Having my sister Melinda around is absolutely terrible. I'm glad she's not around anymore. But she got me thinking about my dad, who was my world. My dad was amazing. He never, ever have before or since met anyone like him. He's the idol of my life. And he's buried in Fort Lauderdale. I'm going to go visit him. And I think I'm going to try to make arrangements to get my, my spot. It's funny, I've always done well with hearses, flower cars, limousines. I've, I got, I, I have, I still have an old hearse. They're just fun. They're really cool. And besides that, how many guys get to ride in them sitting up? We got the team on the lot and we are on the run. Hanging with my band is a lot of fun. And we know what it takes to be number one. We're just out here in the Florida sun. Ted's got classic cars all over the place. When I was younger, I used to race. We'll be riding high when the day is done. Ted, Vernon, please sell me some fun. We got time for a warm music set. But I would prefer that red Corvette. Ted, will you sell it to me, please, oh, please? I just want those shiny car keys. I've been buying, selling, and trading classic cars for over 40 years. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. You could call it work, but for my team, it's a whole lot more. I'm Ted Vernon, and this is my place, Woo! South Beach Classics. Hi, Dad. How you doing? So I was driving the other day, and I ran into a divider on the highway. And I was thinking right before I hit the median that maybe it's time I'm going to come see you right away. But I didn't happen to die that day, but I realized I hadn't seen you in a while. And I just wanted to say that you are and always will be my hero. And I love you, and I miss you so much. There's never been anybody that I've ever known like you in my life. And I just hadn't been here in a while now. I just want to tell you I love you so much. That's all I can say, because it says it all. You're my guy. And I couldn't think of somewhere I'd rather be than next to you. Hello, are you Mr. Vernon? Yes, I am. Hi, my name is Cindy. I work here. I was told that you wanted to speak with a counselor about making arrangements. You're a counselor? I am. This must be my lucky day. I, 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 do you work here? I work here, yes. I have a question. Is there a Mr. Cindy? Mr. No, there is not. Uh, wow. What can uh, I help you with? Um, anything you want. Uh, my arrangements. Whatever you want. Okay. I see you have some space here. Is there a change that you want to make? Or... I want this one for me. Okay. Do you have a pen and paper? No, I'm sorry. I don't. Well, I do. And I'd like you to give me your phone number so I can call you. I'll still do the arrangements. To make the arrangements. You. Whatever you think. I okay. Want to call you. I, just to talk. Okay. To you. I have business cards back at the office, but I can give you my number. The right one, please. I'm sure this happens all the time, but... Uh... I usually give my phone number to people wanting to make arrangements, yes. If we can schedule an appointment to meet at the office, and uh, I'll do whatever I can to help you. I would like to discuss the arrangements over dinner, if you don't mind. No strings just away from this place. Mr. Vernon, you have my phone number. It was a pleasure meeting you. Wow. So I'm talking to my father. I'm bummed out real bad. And all of a sudden, in walks an angel. And I was mesmerized. You know, I'm not in the dating game. I mean, she gave me the number. Should I call her now? Should I wait a few days? I really don't know the right way to go with this, but I'm going to try one way or another to see her. Thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. I'm going to try. I like this car, baby. I do, too. It's nice. Sad. Hey, man. What's up, Ted? How are you? Hi. 
Great to see you. How are you doing? Good to see you, man. Long time. How's everything? Too long. Well, we've been friends, Ted and I, for 40 years now. First time I came in, I, uh, I bought my vet from him, a 69 Corvette convertible in 1982, it was. We just got back from Dubai, and I have a private party there that's looking for uh, unique cars. You know, it's funny. I walked out of my showroom, and I see Saad and his wife looking at this little roadster that we had, and that's not really what he normally buys. The nice thing about this, it has an inline six serviceable American engine. It's the only one there is. They made one. Well, when I saw the roadster with the red interior, it was just amazing, especially with Natty sitting in it. You know, it's a fixer-upper, but the great thing about it is that they have the full repair facilities and gonna bring it back to showroom quality. It's gonna be a great car. So this you like, huh? I really do like it. It's really cool. For sure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> We're gonna get it. <laughs> right, Ted? Well, you know, I was getting gas the other night. <laughs> I forgot. Free gas for life, I like it. That's what I'm Good thinking. Thing. This has a Nissan motor, stick Rush shift, bucket. AC. It's rougher than three nights in jail, but looks great. It just runs fantastic. Put this one on the list, I like it's it. It's on the list, let's do it. When I saw that rust bucket, it just jumped right out at me. What I love about it, it's the reverse negative reciprocal of what somebody would look for in a car, and that's great for them. It's so unique, they don't have to do anything to it. The worse it gets, the prettier it is. The ironic thing is that, you know, gas is really inexpensive there, and it has free gas for life with that fuel pump sticking in the side, so they're gonna love that. You know, it has a Nissan engine right now. I don't know what they're gonna do with it in the future. They may put some big block in there. For now, it's running, and it's exactly what they want. This is very cool. I've never sent one of these to the Gulf. You know what that means in Arabic? No. The flawless one. That's good, because this one, I don't think has much of a flaw left. Uh -huh. Beautiful, Ted. <laughs> it's really beautiful. I like it. That fire truck is dated a little, but since the name is the Flawless, they're going to really, really be impressed. It has an Arabic name. The highest I would go on this package is probably around what I've seen so far. It's probably around 35 to 40, but I'm sure that Ted will give me a good price. So let's talk money, Ted. Okay. The Roadster's 12. The Rust Bucket's 10. This is 15. 37 grand. And that's fair. We're kind of close. Uh, I was thinking about 30. <laughs> you can think all you want. I'm not a charity, I have to make a living. 35, I'll do. I'll meet you halfway. How about uh, 34? You happy with 34? Of course I'm happy. You're happy anyway, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I love this woman. 34 is done. You got a deal, thanks, Ted. I had a really great day today at Ted's lot, and I'm sure my clients and I will be back for more. This is a great day. I'm selling cars like candy bars. I love it when it gets like this. You know, I'm a simple guy. I like horror movies. I like sports. I love my classic cars. I like to stay home with who I like and just watch TV. And, you know, I work a whole lot, so I like to relax sometimes with someone that I care about. Haven't had that in a while. You know, the girl at the funeral home really got me stirred up. I mean, She's beautiful, she gave me her number. I hope it's a real one. You know, should I wait, should I call now? You know, I don't see any reason to wait time. You know, I, I, it's now, so I'm gonna call her. Hello, Cindy, is that you? Hi, this is Ted Vernon. We spoke at the funeral parlor there. Uh, I'd like to meet you for dinner to discuss my plans for my cemetery and funeral and all that. And if you have time, uh, let me know where and when, I'll pick you up, we'll go. Just let me know anywhere you want to go. You will? That's just great. I look forward to it. Yeah, 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 I got it. I want to talk business, and I want to talk about you also. You're a very interesting person. All right, I'll see you soon. That's great. Thank you. Bye, bye, Cindy. Bye-bye. You know, deal breakers for me is like the modern music, I, I can't stand it uh, at all. Uh, just someone that lies, I can't take. You know, I don't know her well enough yet, but she's got a lot of good going for her. God, she's gorgeous. So we'll see what happens. Hey, German, what's up, man? Hey, very good. How are you? Beautiful show you. you have today. Yeah, I got a lot of new stuff. 
I'm uh, here to uh, sell my porch that I bought from Ted uh, a year ago. We did a couple of deals before, but this is my major deal. This is the one that is gonna keep me going with him and do more deals in the future. I have that uh, silver Porsche I wanna sell. 911. Yes. Yeah. I remember uh, that. You know, I restore it completely. It's ready to go. So you wanna listen to Did it? Did you bring it? Yes, it's outside. Oh, I wanna listen to you it. You wanna listen if to I it? If I recall, it needed help when Perfect. you bought it. A guy that knows how to fix Porsches is a very special, smart human being. I'm not that smart. I just flip them. You know, you said you did everything. You didn't do everything. Because if you look at the hood, it doesn't match the car. Everything is you would have painted the car. You want me to start it up? Yeah. You want to sell it? Yeah. Let me hear it. Yeah. You ready? Listen to that. Wow. I put everything that breaks in these cars is brand new. To fix these cars, you need a special computers to get, they're called scanners. They cost thousands of dollars and you have to keep updating them, and also the information for the technical support and all this. The amount of work that I put in this car is thousands of dollars. The labor, the parts are not cheap, time consuming, and I want to get the most out of it. So how's the AC? Ice cold. Because you don't want to be in a car like this no. without it air when it's everything. 90 degrees out. It's perfect, ice cold. Ice cold. Yes, sir. You see? It's ice cold. Yeah. When German fixes a car, it's fixed. He's very good at what he does. I've dealt with him over the years. He's brilliant when it comes to German cars. My gut feeling is he came here to sell the car and we'll make a deal. So I think you paid me 15 or 16 for the car. Yes. I know you did some work on it. Yes. So am I giving you your money back? Plus some more. Well, I don't normally pay more than I sell them for. Yeah, I know you did a lot of work, but a lot of labor. the car looks the same. Yes. It doesn't run the same. It doesn't run the same. The AC is ice cold. It got brand new tires. Got brand new Porsche wheels. That is worth something. It's worth something. I think you will appreciate it. Well, I think 911s have gone up. Yes. More than anything else. Especially you made now. the car run the right way. Yes. But we were at 15, 16. What would you like me to do? I was thinking about Teddy. Come on. You know, he wants me to pay him a lot more than he paid me for the car. That's not gonna happen. I think he's offering me Boxster money, and this is a 911 Carrera. It's a big difference. He has to know that. I'm at 16, you're at 30. That is not gonna happen. If you wanna be serious with me and get this car sold, you gotta come way down. I can come way down right now. Listen, you don't wanna sell it right now. You wanna sell it right now, and you gotta come down. Look, I mean, the hood's not painted. 16? It's running great. Yeah, 16. Th this is what I would pay. You know, the clear coat's coming off on it. It needs this. Now, I got to spend money on the car. I like the wheels. I got to spend money on the car. And it'd be a $35,000 car? When I spend another five or 10 grand on it, yeah. You want to spend that money on it or you want me to? You know, if, if I'm going to get into the 20s, it's got to be real low 20s. I like to be in the upper teens. You know, he fixed everything mechanically. He didn't fix the hood. He didn't fix the paint. You know, there's still more for me to do, and I want to make money on the car without trying to kill me. What would make you happy? What would make this be done? I can take 22. You know, the good thing is, you're my friend. I know you'll be back to buy more cars. I'll give you the 22. We're done. Thank you very you much. You happy with that? Yes, I'm very happy. Okay. Then I want you to come inside. I'll get you a check and we'll be done. Okay. And you can say goodbye to the Porsche. I'm happy with the deal. When Ted has a Porsche, I know he's going to call me first. I will definitely be back to buy another car for my next project. I got a Porsche back. I'm happy. Runs good now. Okay, come on side, it's raining, so pull right inside under the building on the right. All right, then I'll be the right kid. Come on in, I'll meet you. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Nice matching wheels. Patrick and Mac just came in. They're customers that I've seen around here before, and they've got a Mustang they restored that's gorgeous. I want it. The legend. Ted, the legend, my brother, how you doing? <laughs>
We're finally here. How you doing, man? We're all right. finally here. Listen, next time you come, you don't need to bring a bodyguard to deal with me. <laughs> all right? We're all right with it. You're all right. <laughs> We're looking to sell ours 1967 Ford Mustang. No other place to be to come over here, because, you know, we know Ted's a legend. And that's my guy. Very nice. You, you restored man. this, didn't you? Yeah, me, my little man, and, and my brother. Cost money to restore a car. Yep, definitely did. Definitely. Learn about that, huh? Learn a good lesson. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I don't restore cars. With this project, it was mostly like a family affair. It's been a fun process, but we realized it's time to let it go and then start something else, get another project going. Yep. You know, I buy these and I sell these and I love them. Uh, what do you want for me? I'm reselling, I'm not keeping it. Take it easy. I want 30 smackaroos. I can't buy it for that. Uh, there's no way in the world. What I could do, if you're interested, if you need a little greenery or brighten up the scenery, what I can do, let you look around, okay. pick a lesser car, mm -hmm. and I'll just pay you the difference. We'll make it happen. All right, then, so um, work for it makes sense, right? The guys came in, they hit me a 30 grand for the Mustang. Nowhere for me to go with that car. And I told them maybe we could do some kind of a trade deal where I'd give them money and a car. Ted's lot is amazing, beautiful car. Moving. My brother loves the 67 Oldsmobile Cutlass he just seen. Big. 67 for size. 67. But um, another car caught us the eye, which is uh, a SF100. And it is remarkable. But we started talking, we're thinking with the Cutlass, we can't make no money. But with this car, we could make some money. So Get Mercedes, a car and some money. We're going to go with the Mercedes Benz. Only way. Yeah, this is it, bro. Hey, guys. This is it. Let's get out of the rain. Come on. <laughs> There's another side to this car. Make it, make it rain money, man. Make it rain some money. <laughs> Got to understand, this is a buddy of mine had the car. He babied it. That's why the miles are so low. Beautiful. And it's, the colors. Woo. And it's got a cover. This has a cover, and it has a metal cart yeah. that you take the hard top off and put it in the cart, cover oh, wow. it with that, and move it over to the side. Mm, so it's, it's yeah, and it's ready yeah. to rock and roll. It runs great. Um, I could do something with you this on a Mustang. With this in the Mustang? Yeah, I got to give you some money. We, we like money. <laughs> yeah. I, well, it's got to be fair to you and me. Both. Yeah, definitely. definitely. Right. Definitely. Give, so, us, give us an offer. I will. I would be comfortable giving you 10 grand in this car. 10? 10. 10 grand is about all I want to stand. That's it. Understand. Let me talk to my brother. Yeah, can, we, can we give a chance to talk about it? Yeah, I'll walk away. And then, <laughs> and then wave at me when you're ready, and then I'm going to tell you no. But just talk to your brother. I'm out of here. All right, let's make this deal. Patrick and Mac have zeroed in on an SL500 that I just took off the truck today. It's a low-mileage car, both tops, been serviced, very, very nice car. I would love to give him that in 10 grand. I'd be very happy. But if I have to go up a little bit, I will. My older brother been here a few times. Always said Ted was a jokester, funny oh, guy. Not with the money. And he's been real serious. I came in, I don't think he's a jokester with the money. So no, he's not know. playing with that one. Now, I know you guys have had a big meeting. Now, don't hit me too hard, and we'll do business. What you thinking? I want to do 15. I thought you guys said it's a joke, though. He makes not, jokes. He's leaving. not leaving any meat on the bone for me. <laughs> how, about, how about I'll make you an offer, if I may? All right? Let me hear it. 12 and a half will make you laugh. <laughs> 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 what about it? I you laugh, but we're, we're still at 15. We're still, we're still at 15, 15, man. This is for my son, Ted. I need the 15. We're moving. We're leaving South Beach. I need the 15. It's for Carter, man. He helped us a lot in the process. He helped us a lot in the process. Well, I love the Mustang. I can't lie to you. It's about your son? It's about Carter. And let's do it. 15 grand. My car. Because I enjoyed Ted's it. Ted's the legend, man. Thank you, man. Ted the man. Come on, you ain't go. We got it. <laughs> Ted said 12 and a half. But uh, we had something. He tried to little... make us laugh. Yeah, we had something. We had, we had a little secret in our back pocket. Yeah, no, nah, I, I had the deal breaker. I, I wanted to do it for my son. Carter helped us out on the journey with since the car. Since day one. Little man helped us out since day one. We had to make sure we get a little bit more just for him. You know, with $15,000, I actually traded a car for that, and I'm in it right, very, very right. It's all about the buy. This whole business is about the buy. And with the Europeans that I have, these Mustangs are gold. And I think the car will probably do 30 grand. And they're happy. We're all real happy. Just really great guys.
I've got a young couple just got here looking for a C3 Corvette. I'm going to see what they're at budget-wise and try to sell them a car. So the purpose of coming here today was to find a car to complement some of our passions. And we really love classic cars, and I'm a fire dancer. So we found a way to bond through cars and classic cars. And so we wanted to pull those concepts together and me do a fire show with the car that we just purchased. And we're hoping it's white because our C4 is white. A red interior. Don't forget the red interior. That okay. is a must for me. Yes. So exactly what are you looking for? I am looking for a C3 Corvette. OK. It's very nice looking. OK. Do you have a price point? Uh, I got I to gotta talk to you about that one. Is that right? Yeah. What do you want the Corvette for? I want it for an act. You're going to teach the car to act? That would be cool, <laughs> but no. What act? What do you do? I'm a fire dancer. What is a fire dancer? Uh, I dance with fire, and so I want this car to reflect that. OK. The C3 Corvette started in like 1968 and went up into the 70s. And, you know, they're very popular. They're coming on strong now. You know, a good C3 Corvette, 75, 76, 15 to 20 grand for the right car. I get a white C3 right there. Oh, and yeah. It's gorgeous. And it's only 16.5. You have the car that we're always dreaming, but this car, you have to sell me for 15. Who's this guy? He's looking out for me. Ah, he's bigger than me. <laughs> I don't want any trouble. I'll tell you what I'll do. I support the arts. I play in a rock and roll band. I make movies. I have a TV show. I'll give you the car for 15, but I want you to do your act. Deal. Right here, right now. Oh, good. Deal. Good. You're good. on. Good, done. OK, <laughs> let's do this. You got to get ready. You get the car that you want, uh -huh. the color that you want, uh -huh. and the price that you want. The best of the best, you can show what you do. Come on. I know. Ah, come on. I thought Nina killed it. I thought she might, but the way her personality comes through, the glow and the, her move, she was just great. Nothing short of great. That was so good. Your expression when you were working and doing all that and the way you carried yourself was just so fantastic. I'm so happy I'm you liked it. Seen. I'm so happy you liked it. No, My passion it. meets the car for the passion and the passion in the car and we just meet perfectly. I'm so impressed. I did my dance, I did my show, Ted liked it, and I got my car for 15000 Deal. Done deal. Basically, I paid 1500 for the show, but if it advances Nina's career, it's worth it to me. Uh, she got close enough, I was worried about my hair. Oh, I don't have to worry about my hair. But it was very close and very warm. This is great. I haven't been on a date in a while. And I'm nervous. I, I hope she likes doo -wop. I hope she likes the restaurant. And I hope she likes classic cars. I wonder if she'll laugh at my jokes. I got to watch my jokes. Oh, oh. Hi, Cindy. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you. I'm not in the dating scene, but she's thinking it's business. I'm thinking it's more or less a date. I mean, because I'm, I'm blown away. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. <laughs>